Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lala, and today we're going to be making fufu the right way. I did it right this time, okay? So, check it out. So, this time I'm, I changed my blender, and I chopped my cassava really small. I didn't want to have to show you guys all of that over again. If you've seen my previous video, you'll see what, what I did there. Um, so, this time I'm adding a little bit of water. Um, and then I'm just going to blend that until smooth, okay? Like I said in my previous video, uh, the blender that you use is important because if it's like my older blender, um, this will come out grainy, um, so you don't want that, okay? So here I'm just adding more of the cassava to what I've already blended, a little bit more water, not too much, and blend again. So yeah, pretty much I kept doing that until everything was blended. Um, this was just one cassava. Um, this gave me two, um, two fufu. Um, I'm not sure what they call it, rolls, two fufu. But yeah, um, so this amount gave me two. Um, if you want more, then go ahead and make more. But it's the same method as what I'm doing here. Alright, so now that's done, I'm going to add that to my pot. You can see how nice and smooth that is. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of water and, um, and then your cassava and blend that till nice and smooth and then you're good to go. After that, the rest of it should be easier to do. So my, my stove right now is on about medium. Um, as the time goes by, I will be turning that down so I don't burn my fufu or scorch it, maybe. So I just went in with my whisk, like I saw in the other video. So I just did that and then later on I'll switch to my spoon. Yeah, you gotta watch a little video while you're doing that because <laughs> this took about maybe 20, 25 minutes. It depends. I don't know. It's not a lot that I'm doing, so, you know, it should go by faster. You want to keep stirring that, stirring that, stirring that, because you don't want it to burn, so... It's time to go by. I'm turning my heat down because I realized it was a little bit too high, even though it was medium heat. So, you know. I keep lifting my, my whisk to see if I'm getting that stretch that I'm looking for. When it gets to a certain point, I'm going to switch it to my wooden spoon because then I'm just going to uh, squish it or, yeah, squish it on the side of my pot. Um, you won't be getting any lumps at this point, I guess, because I've already whisked it all together. So most of the water, in a sense, has evaporated. So no lumps will form at this point so yeah, I mean it's pretty easy once you get to learn it because this is my second time doing this so here I just added a little bit water to the pot it kind of helps to get this more in a ball like it it's it doesn't it doesn't um it would make your fufu watery um it pretty much just um help it to remove from the the pot like I'm trying to explain it. 
yeah it just it's like oil and water they don't they don't mix like that it just the water evaporates out of the pot that's what i'm trying to figure like is that what i say it's trying to so every time i wet it 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 doesn't it doesn't the fufu doesn't um <sighs> god help me yeah so it just separated from the pot so it's not yeah so it's more like it goes into a ball like so it doesn't okay i'm gonna i'm done explaining because i don't know what i'm trying to say i know what i'm trying to say it's just uh, i don't know how to say it <sighs> but i hope you guys can actually see the video well enough to think the light over my stove kind of not that great for videos but i don't know is there a light i could get that will sh make things look clear i don't know maybe i have to research that Trust me, when I said this one was done good, it was done so good. I was so proud of myself and everything. Uh, it was so good. It was super smooth. You see how it's removing from the pot after I add the water? That's what I meant. <laughs> yes, I'm still on that. <laughs> Thought I moved on already. But I want to explain it to you guys in a way that you get it. Okay, I'm done talking about that. All right, move on. So, pretty much after it was done, cooked, like it was finished and everything, I I started to put it in my saran wrap and then let it cool down. So, yeah, I'm still watching the video. But, um, I let it cool down room temperature, then I, I, I put it in the fridge, okay? So... Like I said before, I only got two out of this. Um, I mean, you can make four small ones if you want, but I'm just dipping my hand in water just to get it away from the edge too much so I could wrap it properly. And uh, yeah, and there you go. Oh, it's a fufu season, okay? Because I do have another video coming up. Um, but I won't give the title away. I'll let you guys see it when I post it. <laughs> 